Hey everyone, Quinn here as always and welcome back to my channel. Now in my previous videos I talk a lot about personal finance and I also slip in some videos about real estate. But within those videos I often talk about how to be successful through productivity. So I thought it was finally time to share with you my personal daily routine for maximum productivity. I spent a long time trying to perfect my normal routine so that I can be as productive as possible and I hope that as I walk you through mine you can learn some new things and pick up on some habits that I do to help you be more productive. I also hope you can see how I structure my day in a very specific way so that I'm taking full advantage of the hours I have in a day. Now before we jump into my life, make sure to go hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And also feel free to leave a comment below on anything you want talked about in future videos so I have a better idea how to structure my videos so they can help you as much as possible. But let's get started with my daily schedule for maximum productivity. Let's start by my wake up time at 7 a.m. Since I'm still in university, I have to stick to a pretty strict school schedule for about 24 months of the year. But what I like about this is it allows me to structure my days in extremely great detail. Waking up at 7 a.m. is the perfect time for me because I don't have to go to bed extremely early the night before to still get seven or eight hours of sleep, but I'm still getting up at a time that allows me to get a lot of things done in the hours that I'm awake during the day. Now after waking up, I try to keep the exact same morning routine every day so that I can train my brain to get ready for work. I've talked about this in other videos and the purpose for keeping the same routine every day is so that over time your brain will actually get used to this sequence of events and once you do them all before your next task your brain will actually start to anticipating what's coming next. So for example if you wake up in the morning brush your teeth grab a coffee and then go sit down and do some work Every time as you're making that coffee, your brain is getting ready for the next step, which is work. So it's actually preparing to be productive. Now for me, after I wake up, my routine goes just like this. I make a point of putting on my gym clothes and getting into a workout right away. I've timed up my workouts so each one takes just under an hour. So by 8 a.m. I've already completed my workout and I'm ready to start the rest of my day. It's different for everyone, but I find that starting off my day with a workout is not only productive because I actually get a time consuming thing off my list right when I wake up, but having a good workout before 8am means that no matter what else happens in my day, I know at least one thing has gone right so I can always say after every day that it has been a good one. I know a big deterrent for people being productive is getting caught up in things that are going wrong and focusing more on the negative than the positive parts of your day. So while you may face obstacles in the day, either you're frustrated or you're stressed out, as long as one or two things go right, then focus those emotions on the positive instead of the negative and consider it a win for the day. That's a big part of why I work out in the morning because after that hour long workout, I know that the first thing on my list has been successful and I can count on that good feeling to take me through the rest of the day. Now after my workout from about 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., I go upstairs, I take a shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, and then I go make a nice healthy breakfast. This way I'm refreshed, I'm energized, and I have a clear mind so that I can be productive for the rest of the day. Now because I'm in school, the main work I have is all school related. So depending when my classes are for the rest of the day, I usually have to schedule my work around them. But in general, I will sit down at my desk from about 9 a.m. until 1 or 1.30 p.m. and get my work done. Now my biggest trick for being as productive as possible with my actual work is prioritizing and scheduling everything I have to do. 
To be as productive as possible, the secret is to prioritize your work from hardest to easiest so that you're starting the most difficult work when your brain is the most fresh and ready. There is a lot of evidence support that when you start your most difficult work first, when your brain is most refreshed from your sleep the night before, you're much more likely to get things done faster and actually produce a higher quality of work rather than leaving your hardest stuff till the end of the day when your brain has been working for hours beforehand. So if you take nothing else from this video, I want you to remember that ordering your work from the hardest to the easiest is going to be your biggest asset when you're trying to increase or maximize your productivity. Now, once I've done about four or four and a half hours of work, I'll usually try to stretch my legs and make some lunch. And I find that when I've been sitting at my desk all day, it's really not great for my back or my posture. So I've actually thought about getting a standing desk but in the meantime, instead of sitting on my hard wood chair, I've actually purchased a yoga ball to sit on instead. And I find that it's great because it actually engages my core more while I'm sitting there. And it makes me more conscious of my posture because instead of leaning back on a chair like I would normally do when my back starts to get tired, I can feel myself starting to hunch over when I'm on my yoga ball and it makes me more aware of how I'm sitting so I actually try to practice having better posture while I sit on it. So if you also have issues with posture or you find that your back hurts when you're sitting for a long time, I highly suggest purchasing a yoga ball because it's made a huge difference for me already. But after my lunch that I usually take from about 1 to 2 p.m., I either have a class I have to go to or some work that I hadn't finished before I took a lunch break. So I will either do one of those depending what my schedule is for that day. But once I finished all that work, it's usually about four or five o'clock in the evening and that's when I actually get to relax and do something I wanna do. Now you often catch me sitting on the couch and being a bit lazy while I watch some TV once I'm done my work. And I'm not the most proud of this because technically sitting on the couch and watching TV does not do anything for my productivity level. But as long as I've got all my work done, I don't feel so guilty about it because I've actually checked off everything off my list and now it's time to just do what I want. So like I just said, I personally believe that if you've finished all your work and you've done it effectively without rushing through it, then you can reward yourself with these kinds of things. However, now that I'm not stuck inside because it's not winter anymore, I'm definitely going to take advantage of the nice weather and start getting outside as much as possible. I'm going to try substituting my couch potato time to go outside, take a walk, play outside in the backyard with my younger siblings, and just get some fresh air. Even though these things don't necessarily contribute to my productivity level, they are amazing for your personal well-being, and I find that to be productive. Because at the end of the day, if you've already checked everything off your to-do list, and you do something that's good for your own happiness, to me, that contributes to your overall well-being and actually makes you more productive in the long run. So once the day is almost over and it's about 6 p.m., I will always sit down with my family for dinner and have a nice home-cooked meal. Now this is a great family time because we each get to just sit together, catch up on our day, sometimes we'll watch a show together or listen to music, and it's just nice family time. Now once dinner is over, I will try to finish my day just like I started it, with a routine. Now even though these routines will not be the same, they will serve the exact same purpose. Just like when I woke up in the morning, my routine prepared me for work, as I go to bed, my routine will prepare me for sleep. When I'm ready for bed, I'll brush my teeth, then I'll wash my face, and I'll actually get into bed and read a part of a book. Reading for bed is honestly an amazing way to wind down at night. I always make sure I turn off my phone about an hour before I want to go to sleep because after talking to different sleep doctors, I was actually told that the blue light that your phone gives off actually stimulates your brain and makes it a lot harder for you to get into a good sleep cycle before you go to bed. 
and during that time I just read to myself whatever type of book I'm interested in the moment and as soon as I can feel my eyes starting to get tired I'll close my book turn off my light and go to sleep now I try to sleep for anywhere from seven to eight or even nine hours every night because I find that sleep is so so important for your productivity in the long run this is basically your chance for your body to recharge every night and get ready for the next day of work. And I know a lot of people often skip this step or don't do it very well because they either don't have the time because they're working so much and trying to be productive, but really getting enough sleep and recharging your body will help you in the long run and you will actually be more productive. But now that you've seen how I structure my day every day, you can see how productive I am being and still having time to do a couple things that I want to do. Now before you leave, don't forget to go hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Please leave in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see in the next coming weeks so that I can give you exactly what you need to be as successful as possible. Thanks guys, I will see you next time.